All righty, sports fans. So now that we know how to do the binomial theorem, let's see if we can do it at a much, much quicker pace with some really ugly numbers. So here's the binomial theorem right out of your textbook. Oh my God, yeah, what does that mean? Real simple, just interpret it. Look, that's an end. That gives you the end here. Notice that those always will be your chooses, no matter what. And then just start at zero. By starting at zero and not by one, that's what gives us one extra term. So if you think about it in this expansion, you don't have n terms. Because you start at zero, you have n plus one terms. You have that one extra term. So if this was, let's say, a seven, you know that in the expansion, you'll have eight terms. That's as simple as it comes, right? Okay, what else does this thing mean, this big formula that you have in your textbook? Real simple. This is x to the n, count down. Minus 1, minus 2, blah, 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 until you get right down to 0. Starting with the y's, you start at 0 and count all the way up. Notice that it's counting all the way up, all the way down to n. So if you think about it, that n, that exponent, shows up so many times. It shows up here at your choose. It shows up here to start with. And it shows up here at the end, plus the n plus 1 tells you how many terms you have. Oh, so many things to keep straight. I know, I know. Don't complain. Here we go. Let's start with this guy, and let's do this really quickly, like. Okay, here we go. Here's my expansion. There's my X, right? Oh, and I kind of erased it with by drawing a big, thick pen spot here. There we go. There's my X, and, oh, you got to include the Y with the negative, okay? All right, so we know it's a 4. So here's how I do it. Watch this. 4 choose 0. 4 choose 1. 4 choose 2. 4 choose 3. And finally, 4 choose 4. There's our 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 terms, as predicted. Okay, so now, how do we do the rest? Real super simple. Check this out. Here's my x. So this will be 2a to the 4. This will be 2a to the 3. This will be 2a to the 2. This will be 2a to the 1. And this will be 2a to the 0, which is just 1. Okay? Then keep on going. Let's go to this guy. It's minus 3b. Well, this will be minus 3b to the 0, which is just 1. This will be minus 3b to the 1. This will be minus 3b to the 2. This will be minus 3b to the 3. This will be minus 3b to the 4. Okay, so let's finish this thing off. Okay, let's do all the chooses. Well, I know what the chooses are for that. That's going to be 1 because I remember Pascal's triangle. So that's 1. That means this is 1. Real simple. This is 4 choose 1, so that's going to be 4. That means this is going to be 4. Leaves us with 4 choose 2, which I think I still am the calculator from last time. Sure enough, 4 choose 2 is 6. Remember from the last podcast. So this is 6. Now I've gotten rid of all the chooses. Done. Real simple because of the fact that Pascal's triangle is symmetrical. Okay, now here we go. 2a to the 4. That means 2 to the power of 4. So 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 16. This will be times 16a to the 4 times 1, right, from the y. Okay, this will be 2a to the power of 3. Let's just deal with the first, first part here. 2 to the power of 3 is 8, so this will be plus 8a cubed. And then look at this. Oh, Minus 3b to the 1, so times minus 3b. Well, that's simple enough. Add this to, okay, 2a squared is going to be 4a squared. Okay, minus 3 squared is 9b squared. Oh, that's cool. Okay, this is 2a to the 1, so okay, so plus 2a minus 3 cubed. Well, I know what that is. That's minus 27 b cubed. Oh my goodness. Okay. And finally, this is times 1 times minus 3 to the power of 4. Well, we know we're at 27. Just go 27 times 1 more 3. 
And if you think about that, that's going to be 81. So this is 81b to the 4. Now, all we got to do now is just clean it up. Well, okay, I'm running into the second question here already. So I'm just going to clean this up. Let me get rid of this, and let's just clean it up. Okay, let's look at this one. 1 times 16 times 1. That's easy. That's 16a to the 4. Okay, this might be a little bit. 4 times 8 times minus 3. And if you want, just bring up the calculator. 4 times 8 times minus 3. Here we go. 4 times 8 times minus 3. Boom. Minus 96. Okay. Minus 96 A cubed B. Beautiful. Plus. Okay. 6, 4, 9. Let's do that one. 6 times 4 times 9. Boom. Works out to be 216. Holy smokes. 6 times 4 times 9. 216. So this is 216 a squared b squared. Okay. Next one. Plus 4 times 2 times negative 27. 4 times 2 times negative 27 is <gasps> negative 216 again. Wow, that's kind of weird. This is minus 216, though, okay? So we better put in the minus. Minus 216 a b cubed. Finally, plus 1 times 1 times 81. Oh, pff, come on. 81 b to the 4. There's that expansion. Wild, hey? So in the next podcast, I want to even do more expansions, and I want to do them even faster. Oh, look forward to that.